so I just saw a clip of Rod Wade jumping off of a window or a balcony on his concert. Look, with respect to Rod Wave, I believe that this is some demonic shit. Okay? I believe that the spirit of suicide is heavy on these young kids. And we're not having that in the blood of Jesus. We're really not. That stuff is so sick. And you know what? There is a thing to me. There's a a fine line between art, freedom of expression, and demonic entities. You don't do nothing like that. As someone who's been on the top of a building about to jump. And if it wasn't for the blood of Christ, I would be dead. let's really talk about it that is so disturbing to see him do that and he put his arms up as if he was his body formed a cross and i don't know if that part was intentional um it's just like there's a lot of spiritual warfare going on and if you want to act like there's not you're missing it sis and your kids might be at risk if you're acting as if there's no spiritual warfare going on that really deeply disturbed me and these celebs do some crazy stuff i mean blood on shoes um ritualistic sacrifices on stages dressing up as demons in their videos and it's a lot of stuff that these celebrities do and over the years i've just grown accustomed to it like i am what you would say call a fan of Nicki minaj and the Roman, the whole Roman Reloaded thing, like, I, you know. But that one just, something about that just is not sitting well with me. I could usually look past this stuff. Not that one. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood. Oh, Jesus. These, they're trying to come for our kids. The devil coming for our children. Now, Rod Wave, Rod Wave is a great artist. His emotion, his, um, sorry, his music gets, you know, he has, he makes very emotional music. And for the most part, I look at his music as an outlet for him. But when I really sit back and think about it, when you are, when you are just using something to release, your energy and it's going out to millions of people is it possible that that energy is now getting on to other people and it's causing them to be depressed is it possible now i start to look at things like that in that nature you know Excuse me, the blood of Jesus Christ. That is just so disturbing. And my um, a family member of mine posted it. A young, impressionable family member of mine posted it. Because they're a fan of Rod Wave. And as they should be, Rod Wave is a great artist. But, like, I don't know if he thought that one through. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. You don't do nothing like that. The blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Jumping off a building on stage is crazy. Jumping, committing suicide for a show is crazy. That shit is not cool. I'm here to tell you today, suicide is not an option. I don't care what celebrity makes it seem like it's something that could be glorified as someone who struggled for years and who's had an asinine amount of suicide attempts. The blood of Jesus, and I'm claiming it. 10 toes down it's not an option babe it's not an option you're not a quitter you've been through worse you can get past this trust and believe me even if you don't believe in jesus christ you don't believe in god it's possible to overcome this point in your lifetime i cannot believe i just saw that are you serious like, <laughs> I just woke up for a nap and I saw that and I'm so disturbed. Why would he do that?
I don't know the backstory. I'm not going to dig into it. I, I didn't do research on that. I'm just so deeply disturbed, Broadway. Why would you jump off a balcony on your stage? And I'm sure you could justify it as art or self-expression or bringing awareness. But it's like... Some, Im some imagery does not need to be in a young person's mind. And I don't know... If you know this, Rod Wave, but you have very young fans. Like, what the heck? I rebuke that in the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus Christ. What the heck is going on? Let me tell you something. When I started reading my Bible and everything, I started reading my Bible and praying more to God, I could feel a release of certain energies or spirits. If you don't believe in God, you don't believe in the devil, you don't believe in all that, let's just say energies. But for me, it's spirits of depression. Now, I still battle with MDD. I still have deep depression. I probably always will. But... When you turn to God and lean on God, the battle's already won, okay? Let's just start there. Secondly, suicide is not an option. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care if you just found out you had HIV. I don't care if you up to you facing 30 years in prison. I don't care if you're dirt poor. I don't care if you've been assaulted for the hundredth time in your life. I care about the fact that this is your life path. This is your journey. You have this one soul and you are going to overcome what has happened to you in your life because it's possible. It is possible to overcome it, get past it and the, claim the blood of Jesus. If you don't believe in Jesus, it's possible to dust yourself off, clean off your energy and become aligned with who you are inside, internally. Regardless of what you go through, you are not what you go through. You are who you decide you want to become. And if you do believe in God, you are not what, you're, what you go through. You are who God sees you in Christ. You are my brother. You are my sister in Christ. It doesn't matter what you've been through. And for me, I think for a long time, I allowed my identity to be the things that happened to me. And because that is the case, one thing about it, I would always be miserable. <laughs>